Dobbs Tonight continues. Sitting in for Lou Dobbs, who's on vacation, John King. Terrorism fears led to the cancellation of three Air France flights to Los Angeles today. This comes just four days after America's alert status was raised to code orange. The color code system has become a part of our lives, but my next guest says it is more about politics than security. Ivan Eland is director of the Independent Institute in Oakland, California, and he joins us now from our San Francisco bureau. Sir, some might say this is proof the system works. Intelligence leading to canceling these flights into the United States, you would say? Well, I think, you know, we have to separate intelligence and law enforcement, legitimate activities here, from the, uh, the color coding system, which scares the public. Uh, basically, the public doesn't participate in this except to be scared. And what, we're re what the government essentially tells people is, uh, you know, be alert, but keep Christmas shopping so that the economy stays, uh, uh, you know, in a good condition. And I think basically what we've, what we've done here is we have a system that shows that the Homeland Security Department is doing something about the problem, but does a little more. This should be this color coding system uh, is only tangentially related to the law enforcement activities that we see going on, which are legitimate. And uh, I think we need to separate that color coding system from the underlying law enforcement activities. For instance, uh, they in the past they have put out uh, alerts to state and local law enforcement uh, authorities in certain places that they had received intelligence on X, Y, or Z uh, group or individuals that were, might be a problem or there might be some sort of an attack, but they didn't broadcast. And I think that's what we need to uh, go back to uh, or because this is uh, unnecessarily alarming the public. Like, what is the farmer in North Dakota supposed to do uh, against uh, terrorists uh, direct, uh, directing their attacks to uh, the Los Angeles airport? Well, you make an interesting point. Let me ask you this. If you were in charge of the system as it is now, and you were briefed that there was intelligence that one or more Air France flights into the United States might be somehow under threat of being taken over by terrorists, would you not go then to Code Red, the highest level? Well, that's, that's another point. I mean, when do we go to Code Red? I mean, uh, we've gone between uh, yellow and orange, and I say that that proves that the system is political. If you go to one of the lower colors, uh, the more green or blue, then you're basically inviting the terrorists to attack, and also uh, the government, of course, if if, it, if an attack occurs when those colors are in in um, being, then it everyone says, "Hey, how come you didn't warn us about that?" But if, on the other hand, if we go to red, it scares everybody too much. So what we do is we cycle between yellow and orange, and that's why we see that it is a political system. And I think basically this is to show that the administration and the Home Department of Homeland Security are doing something. And I think really there can be valuable uh, tools that are used, and I think intelligence and law enforcement. Uh, uh, is a good uh, are good tools to use, but of course uh, we can also do that quietly without uh, alarming everybody. Do you have any fear, sir? The terrorists certainly know that the United States is taking unprecedented measures to listen to them around the world here in this country. If there are cells in the United States, can this system be easily manipulated? Could terrorists or terrorist sympathizers be talking about Air France flights, be talking about terrorist threats, fabricating those stories? Well, I think that's the danger of a public alert system. It also alerts the terrorists to, to how high the defenses are. I mean, uh, what we probably want to do is uh, have a more discreet system and uh, uh, notify those officials that need to be uh, notified uh, based on the intelligence. For instance, if there is a threat to LAX airport in Los Angeles, then we need to you know, have measures taken there. But uh, what we've done is we've uh, s uh, spinned up the whole country, uh, or spun up the whole country, that is, and uh, you know, for no reason at all. And I think uh, we can have a system uh, that works through intelligence and that sort of thing, but we need to, we need to uh, keep it more low key and not uh, unnecessarily uh, arouse the fears of everyone because frankly, uh, I think that's what it does and many people have criticized this. So I, I also think we need more communication between federal and law and state and law, local law enforcement agencies because uh, uh, oftentimes the state and local officials have been the biggest critics of this system in the fact that they are scaring people unnecessarily. Ivan Elam, thank you for your thoughts tonight on this very interesting and somewhat controversial issue. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And coming up, campaign finance reform. If you thought the new finance